Good morning, and welcome to Immaculate Conception Church. Our presiding celebrant is Father Jay, assisted by Deacon Joe. Jesus tells us to welcome the stranger, so that there are no strangers in our midst. Please turn and welcome the people around you. Today is Pentecost Sunday. Let us begin our worship of God with our opening hymn, one, number 190, Creator by Whose Aid, number 190. Creator Spirit by Whose Aid the world's foundations first were laid. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You feed us with your body and your blood. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You intercede for us with the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us praise God as we say glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who by the mystery of today's great feast sanctify your whole church in every people and nation, pour out, we pray, the gifts of the Holy Spirit across the face of the earth, and with the divine grace that was at work when the gospel was first proclaimed, fill now once more the hearts of believers. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When the time for Pentecost was fulfilled, they were all in one place together. And suddenly there came from the sky a noise like a strong driving wind, and it filled the entire house in which they were. Then there appeared to them tongues as of fire, which parted and came to rest on each one of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in different tongues as the Spirit enabled them to proclaim. Now there were devout Jews from every nation under heaven staying in Jerusalem. At this sound, they gathered in a large crowd, but they were confused because each one of them heard them speaking in his own language. They were astounded, and in amazement they asked, are not all these people who are speaking Galileans? Then how does each of us hear them in his native language? We are Parthians, Medes, and Elamites, inhabitants of Mesopotamia, Judea, Cappadocia, Pontus and Asia, Croatia, Pamphylia, Egypt, and the districts of Libya and Cyrene, as well as travelers from Rome, both Jews and converts to Jerusalem, Judaism, 
Cretans and Arabs, yet we hear them speaking in our own tongues of the mighty acts of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Lord, Lord send, send out, out your spirit, spirit and, and renew, renew the, the face, face of, of the earth. earth. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, my God, you are great indeed. How manifold are your works, O Lord. The earth is full of your creatures. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord be glad in his works. Pleasing to him be my theme. I will be glad in the Lord. Lord, send Lord, out send your out spirit your and renew the face of the earth. If you take away their breath, they perish and return to their dust. When you send forth their spirit, they are created, and you renew the face of the earth. Lord, Lord send, send out, out your spirit and, and renew, renew the, the face, face of the earth. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, no one can say Jesus is Lord except by the Holy Spirit. There are different kinds of spiritual gifts, but the same spirit. There are different forms of service, but the same Lord. There are different workings, but the same God who produces all of them in everyone. To each individual, the manifestation of the spirit is given for some benefit. As a body is one, though it has many parts, and all the parts of the body, though many, are one body, so also Christ. For in one spirit we were all baptized into one body, whether Jews or Greeks, slaves or free persons, we were all given to drink of one spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. With you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to, to you, Lord. Lord. On that evening of the first day of the week, when the doors were locked where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus again said to them, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit, whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, and whose sins you retain are retained. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. For the final time in this season, we're able to say Happy Easter. Pentecost is the conclusion of the Easter season. Seven weeks ago, this candle came into a darkened church on Saturday evening, representing the fire of God's love, the light of Christ's resurrection that came in. And from this candle, every other candle of the people who were here were lit to see from the one flame that light go out to the world. Very symbolic of the power of the Holy Spirit of the power of Christ's resurrection. Every mass we've said at the preface for the Eucharistic prayer, we've talked about being overcome with Paschal joy. And so today we should still have that same zeal. I still keep a few of the Easter decorations up in the office of the church to remind people we're still in the Easter season. They think we're lazy. They think that we just, you know, how come they haven't taken their, their decorations down yet? 
but it's a great reminder for us to keep that Easter spirit, even now as we step out of Pentecost. As we go now into ordinary time, though for the next two weekends, the next two Sundays, we'll celebrate two, two truths of our faith, the beauty, the mystery of the Holy Trinity, and then the week after that, the great gift of the Eucharist in Corpus Christi. If anything, we also say that Pentecost represents the birth of the church, the birthday. From that descent of the Holy Spirit and from the preaching of the apostles, to all of these people, to all these, and, and they, we get a geographic lesson in that first reading of the regions of all around, of the whole world. I mean, it truly fulfilled what our Lord had said to them. You're going to go to Judea, and you're going to go from this area, and you're going to go to the ends of the earth, including what we hear in there, that we are messengers from, or there are visitors from Rome. So we can almost imagine that from that moment, from that first Pentecost homily, that Pentecost preaching, that those Jews who came to to Passover, to celebrate the Passover or Pentecost, the Harvest Festival uh, in Jer Jerusalem, went back to Rome with the story and fused with the Holy Spirit and began the church there, later on to be visited by Peter himself to become their, their, their bishop. And then, of course, St. Paul in the last part of his own life would come to visit. So we celebrate that. And, and remember what Jesus said to us when we heard at the Feast of the Ascension last week. Go into the whole world and proclaim the gospel to every creature. Today, in fact, we'll have a, a bit of a short homily because this weekend is our missionary cooperative appeal. And so we welcome Sister Servatrix will be here uh, to kind of finish up the homily to talk about uh, the work that her sisters do. As we heard in the second reading, many gifts the same spirit and how her and her community makes use of the gifts of the Holy Spirit to go into their part of the world, to go everywhere where their mission calls them to bring the gospel. So the gospel, the, the catechism of the church says this, God's spirit who reveals God makes known to us Christ, his word, his living utterance. So if we say and we can say in our hearts, yes, I know Jesus, it's because of the Holy Spirit. We owe a debt of gratitude, of thanks, that it's through the spirit that he has sent, the love between the father and the son that we can say that we know Christ. The spirit who has spoken through the prophets makes us hear the father's word, though we do not hear the spirit itself. Like the wind, like air, we may see a flagpole and we see that flag blowing in the breeze. We don't see the wind itself, we see the effects of it. We see the wind blowing. We don't see electricity itself, but we can obviously see the effects of it. And so it is, we don't necessarily see the Holy Spirit, though artistically we call it in the form of a dove, or we use red on Pentecost for the fire of the Holy Spirit. It's very elemental. Last night, if you were here for the vigil readings, the vigil doesn't talk about fire, quite the opposite. It talks about water, the life-giving water, the streams of water to a people who understood in that sort of desert climate the need for water to sustain themselves. And then today, to hear of the descent of the Holy Spirit as tongues of fire, and even the Lord in that going back to that, really we heard it, it's Easter Sunday, but it's the second Sunday that we hear the, the gospel when Jesus breathes on them, so we get air, very elemental, air, fire, water. So where do we see it in our, holy, in our church? Well, we see it lived out in the, in the church. We see it in the scriptures. We say that the Holy Spirit inspired the authors. In the tradition of the church, the beautiful writings of all the many church fathers, Augustine, Jerome, Ambrose, St. John Chrysostom. In the magisterium, the living teaching authority of the church, we say works through the Holy Spirit. Every sacrament has that invocation of the Holy Spirit. At the Mass, when I extend my hands over the gifts to call down the Holy Spirit to, tr to transform the bread and wine. Uh, at baptism, the blessing of the holy water, sending the Spirit upon that water that will be used. In the many different ministries of the Church, in the apostolic life, in the witnesses of the saints of our Church, all of which show that action of the Holy Spirit. Very different ways and very different people, in fact. So for us, we reflect on the great gift of Pentecost, and ask how does this affect us? And to truly this today, pray to the Holy Spirit. Next week we'll embellish that by seeing, trying to understand the relationship between the Holy Spirit, God the Son, God the Father. But for now to ask God, Lord, send me your Spirit, send your Holy Spirit upon me. To think how the Holy Spirit came upon each of us at our baptisms. To think about how it was infused and strengthened, stirred up in confirmation. Just had that a few weeks ago for our eighth graders, for, the, for their, you know, uh, time in their life when they will receive that. But for us, once we have it, do we use it? 
you know, have to make use of it, have to call it out, call upon it. It's there, and the Lord wants to send it to us, but using our free will, it's up to us to keep asking him in all the decisions and the moments of our life. Second Vatican Council said that Catholics are, who are confirmed are more strictly obligated to spread and to defend the faith. You know, and I can ask myself in my little exam of conscience every day, what did I do today? Did I need to defend the faith today? There are some who are looking for something to trip up about the Catholic Church, but there are others who legitimately ask. And so it's a little moment for us to explain something to someone, but also to spread the faith. What do I do? Asking God to help me. One of the ways it gets done, as I said, is through the missionary efforts of our religious consecrated life. And so at this time, I'd like to call up Sister Servatrix. She comes to us from the Sisters of Our Lady of Usambara, and she'll be talking a little bit about her, uh, the work that the sisters do. Now, let me say this so you can get yourselves ready, because after this, when it comes time for our collection, as all the parishes do in our diocese each year, uh, the second collection that we will take will go towards the work that her sisters do. So get yourselves ready. My dear brothers and sisters, good morning. My name is Sister Servatrix. I belong to the congregation of the Sisters of Our Lady of Usambara, and this uh, congregation is located on the northeastern part of Tanzania. And most people ask me, where is Tanzania? It's a country in East Africa. We are on the southern part of Kenya. So for those who have been in Kenya, Tanzania is on the southern of Kenya. On behalf of my congregation, I would like to thank the diocese through the Office of Mission Co-op for counting us among so many applicants of the year to take part in the mission appeal of this year. And in a special way, Father Jay, his pastoral team, and of course every one of you for accepting us to come to your parish to tell you about our missionary work. Um, Congregation of the Sisters of Our Lady of Usambara was founded in 1954 by Bishop uh, Eugene Authors in collaboration with the um, Precious Blood Sisters. These were the first missionary groups who came to Africa to evangelize the continent of Africa. And we were founded in order to evangelize, to help the bishop to evangelize the Diocese of Tanga, Tanzania. Today, we have expanded our missionary work outside of our diocese. We serve in most of dioceses in Tanzania. <clears throat> and so people ask me, what do you do? We do almost everything. We provide education, work in health care system, uh, serve the poor and the need, and we also carry out the campaign to provide water in schools and in villages. In our schools, we educate both boys and girls from <clears throat> kindergarten through high school. And we also have a special program where we have boarding schools to educate women. And this is because of the historical background that we have had where women were not given chance to education. Through our education, through being educated, we have learned that women can work can do good things as, the, as men. And through our education system, we have seen so many lives of women change. Most of the girls who came to our schools have gone out to become doctors, nurses, uh, lawyers, etc., etc. Because of um, high death in my country, we have a lot of kids who lost their parents. And uh, in our orphanage system, most of the kids that uh, come to us, we also incorporate them in our school system. And those are some of the girls who went through our education system, and they have succeeded to go out to become, to raise good family and find a job, and they are no longer depending on us. And in our school system, we face the big problem of water shortages. And most of the time, in some of our schools, students have to cut short their studies to go out 
to uh, uh, find water. They have to walk miles and miles to collect water for cooking, for washing, for cleaning, etc., etc. Um, also, the shortage of books where uh, students have to share books. One book to equals to four, four to six students. And in our health system, the sisters from my order work in our own hospitals, diocesan, and other uh, government centers to provide uh, care to people. Uh, the sisters also go out to villages to provide necessary vaccines to kids and the elderly whose parents or relatives will not bring them to the hospital just because they cannot afford to do so. <clears throat> we also provide food and clothing to the poor uh, and the people who surround us. Now, water is essential for life. We all have water in our houses around us, but is, that is not the same in Tanzania. Most of us, myself, this head here, have carried buckets and buckets of water uh, for so many years, and that is still going on. Most people have to walk miles to find water. So our campaign is to dig wells, at least in villages where mothers, instead of walking long distance, they can have a center there where they can collect water for the house use. For our students, if they have, can have even two or three halls in the school where they can all go out and bring water into their dormitories to shower, to clean, and cook. That is what we are trying to do. Now, when you think about Tanzania, for some of you, yesterday I, ha I, I have someone who said she has been in Tanzania. Most of you may think about safaris, Mount Kilimanjaro, the Serengeti, which is beautiful, but we also have to think about the life outside of Serengeti, outside of Kilimanjaro, and how people live. And when, what do we think about America? When we think about America, we think about people who save life, not only here in America, but outside of the world. Um, so I'm here today to invite you to join us in our mission, mission, mission to help people, to save people. Giving is a spiritual thing. God has given us his only son to save us. That is the love that is a great love that nobody of us will ever give. And that continues as today we see the coming of, of the Holy Spirit to us. And of course, Pope Francis have repeatedly um, encouraged us to help one another through sharing what we have with the poor and those around us. So what you give today is a sign of love and that is what is God, God is calling us to do. Thank you so much for your endless support to people here in America and to people outside of the world and to my country in Tanzania. God bless you all. God bless the United States of America. Thank you. Thank you, sister. Let us stand and profess the faith that unites us. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation he came down from heaven. The Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day. In accordance with the scriptures, he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, 
who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Inspired by the Holy Spirit, let us join our hearts together in asking our Heavenly Father to hear our prayers. For all members of the church, may the Holy Spirit continue to fill us with grace, strengthen our faith, and guide us in spreading the good news. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For world leaders and elected officials, may the Holy Spirit grant them wisdom and prudence as they lead their people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For all who are struggling with difficult decisions, may the Holy Spirit fortify their hearts and bring them clarity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For our parish community, may God's providential love sustain us in our work of building the kingdom on earth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For those who have died in the light of Christ, especially Rosa Valentin, George Risco, and Florence Fitzgerald, may the mercy of God bring them everlasting life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For the intentions of our, in our parish intention prayer book, and for Lamez Perez, for whom this Mass is offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, as we rejoice in the presence of the Holy Spirit, we ask you to look favorably upon our petitions and answer them according to your holy will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Our ushers will be coming to accept your collection, and we're grateful for your generosity. I know there was also another envelope, the monthly, the beginning of the month, the debt reduction. Uh, please put both of those into the first collection, and then the second one, as I said, will be our missionary appeal uh, for Sister and her community. As we prepare for the liturgy of the Eucharist, please join me in hymn 193, Come, O Holy Spirit, number 193. Come, O Holy Spirit, come, and from your celestial home shed a ray of light divine. Come, O Holy Spirit, come. Come, O Father of the poor, come, O source of all our store. Come within our bosom shine, come, O Holy Spirit, come. You of comforters the best, you the soul's most welcome guest, sweet refreshment here below, come, O Holy Spirit. in the heat, solace in the midst of woe, come, O Holy Spirit, come. O most blessed light divine, may that light within us shine, and our inmost being fill, come, O Nothing good in deed or thought, nothing free from taint of ill. Come, O Holy Spirit, come. Of you, Lord God of all creation, Heal you, our wounds, God. our Lord, strength Lord, renew. On our God. dryness, pour your dew. Wash the stains of guilt away. Come, O Holy Spirit, come. Bend the stubborn heart and will. Melt the frozen, warm the chill. Guide the steps that go astray. Come, O Holy Spirit, come.
Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. For our good and the good of all this holy church, amen. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that as promised by your Son, the Holy Spirit may reveal to us more abundantly the hidden mystery of this sacrifice and graciously lead us to all truth. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your Lift up your hearts. Up Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For bringing your Paschal mystery to completion, you bestowed the Holy Spirit today on those you made your adopted children by uniting them to your only begotten Son. This same Spirit, as the Church came to birth, opened to all peoples the knowledge of God and brought together the many languages of the earth in profession of the one faith. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full, are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the new fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and James, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, St. Boniface, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. 
at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. As we receive our Lord in Holy Communion, please join me in hymn 337, One Bread, One Body, number 337. One cup of blessing which we bless. 
are thankful for the sunlight. We who live, we who die, are grateful for his gift. Thankful for his love. Behold, behold the Lamb of God. All who eat, all who drink shall live. And all, all who dwell in God shall come to Let us pray. O God, who bestow heavenly gifts upon your church, safeguard, we pray, the grace you have given, that the gift of the Holy Spirit poured out upon her may retain all its force, and that this spiritual food may gain her abundance of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. Our Knights of Columbus will be hosting the Pancake Breakfast this morning until noon. This will be their last one for the season and we'll be back in September. Again, we thank you for your support. Our morning confessions on Saturday, June 11th will be canceled due to the ordination mass at the cathedral. Afternoon confessions will still be available from 3.30 to 4 p.m. Volunteers are still needed for the parish festival. Only 54% of the needed shifts are filled. You can sign up online through the, the Festival Sign Up Genius page. The link to it can be found on the school or parish websites, and you can contact the parish office. Discount ride tickets are on sale after Mass. Please take a copy of the bulletin and visit the parish website for more information on the Quo Vetus vocation retreat, the school golf outing, the pilgrimage to the Holy Land, and other parish events. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go announce the Gospel of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Our closing hymn, number 453, Come Holy Ghost, number 453. Come Holy Ghost.